Louis Schweitzer, you are the former boss of Renault. You are now the chairman of Volvo, the chairman of AstraZeneca. So you are actually a big person in the private sector. What do you think is the role of the private sector in global governance? Well, uh, I think the first responsibility of the private sector is not to interfere with democracy. And in my view, this includes two points. One, self-evident, follow the laws established by regular governments all over the world. And I find striking that compliance is a much more important item on the agenda of global corporations today than it was, let's say, five years ago. For example, anti-bribery, anti-corruption are major issues for large multinational. And I think the second point, less often underlined, is that private sector should not interfere with elections or the choice of the people. And I must say, I very much support European rules against uh, funding of political campaigns by private corporations. Then, on the other hand, on the positive In side... In comparison with the United States, you, you mean? Exactly. Yeah. And on the other side, I do think is that the private sector has a role, a positive role, I would say, to play in development, in ensuring an even distribution of progress, and in bringing people to, to do their best. Let me ask you a second, final question. I'll have some more political and economic subject. The Euro crisis. Mm -hmm. Do you think the crisis is now effectively resolved or do you think it is still with us? And if it is still with us, what will be the impact on governance, on society, on the European Union? Well, let's say predicting what the markets will say, I'm not able to say. If will do, I'm not able to say. If I were able to predict what the markets will do, I would be a billionaire, which I'm not. Uh, now, the impact. I think Yes, uh, there has been an improvement in the governance of the Eurozone. I think this is what we will see. I think, secondly, the attitude of the UK vis-à-vis -vis the Europe has been in a way clarified. And I think it was necessary that this should happen. Uh, we'll see policies implemented by uh, the Euro countries, the BCE, foster growth, sustainable growth. So that, in my view, is still an open issue. Time will tell, as the cliché says. Louis Schweitzer, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.